everybody. Let's stand for prayer today. And our pledge. So H is for humility. I pledge to be humble by putting others before myself and by not bragging or being boastful. O is for obedience. I pledge to be obedient by following God's commandments and by being a good example for others. N is for neighborliness. I pledge to be a good neighbor through my willingness to help others and by sharing what I have with those who have less. O is for opportunity. I pledge to recognize every opportunity to show my faith through my thoughts, words, and actions. R is for respect. I pledge to respect all life forms in our planet Earth and to be a good steward with all the gifts and talents God has given me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Does anybody have intentions? For any intentions that you may have in your heart, we pray in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, you may be seated and please take out your uh, Bible reflection sheets. Hello. Morning. Obadiah, verse 
punishment on my sacred hill. But all the surrounding nations will drink a still more bitter cup of punishment. They will drink it all and vanish away. So, your little reflection sheet says, um, it says that your, it basically says that your actions, words, and deeds in life will be like a boomerang, right? And they will come back to you. Um, what do you think God wants you to learn from this? What did you say? Grayson? Treat others the way you want to be treated. Yeah, kind of like, it makes me think of something else too. Anyone else? Kind of like the golden rule, do unto others as you would have done to you, right? Anything else? What do you think God wants you to learn from this? Even if, even if, so whatever you do, right, um, again, it's going to come back to you. If you're kind to others, you will probably receive kindness back. If you're loving to others, you will receive love back. If you help others, you will be receive help when you need it. If you're unkind to others, that's probably what's going to come back to you. If you are unfair to others, that will come back to you. So, um, so whatever you do will come back to you. So treat others with love and kindness, respect, and then love and kind, kindness, respect will come back to you. Right? So think about today and this weekend how you can live that in your life, right? How you can remember that. What I, my deeds, my actions, my words, the things I say, the things I do, that that, that may come back to me. So think about how you want to treat others um, today in all of your interactions. Choose your words, in your actions, in a way, you know, choose words that you would want spoken to you, choose actions that you would want done to you. Okay? Think about that in your interactions today. Okay, hold up your paper again and put it in your Bible. And we'll keep going with that on probably Tuesday because we have convocation on Monday.